welcome ladies and gentlemen on the flash info cameroon they won major national dialogue discussions at the major national dialogue without exclusion convened by president paul Bia kicked off this morning at the yaounde conference center under the chairmanship of prime minister joseph john gute with a heavy agenda for participants from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 8 a.m. this morning, the registration of all participants, which began yesterday on the dialogue site, continued. The arrival and welcome of guests went on from 8 a.m. to barely past 9, which marked the end of the installation of the dignitaries at the Yaoundé Conference Center. The Prime Minister Chief Dr. Joseph John Gute, who presides over the event, was expected at 9.50 a.m., after which the ceremonial solemnly opened, then followed the welcome address by the government delegate to the Yaoundé City Council. Opening address by the Prime Minister, Head of Government, uh, adjournment and group photograph from 11 to 11.30 a.m. The program continued with a coffee break, a plenary session and general discussions from 11.30 to 1 p.m. and lunch from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. From 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., plenary sessions continued with general discussions and the organization of commissions and election of bureau from 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. There was a coffee break. 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. committee sessions and the day ended with a super break. Cameron Pope Francis reacts to major national dialogue. Pope Francis has called for prayers as the major national dialogue opens in Cameroon today, Monday, September 30th. In a message released on Sunday, the sovereign pontiff called on all to pray so that the event could seek peace and a lasting solution to the crisis in the country. Addressing thousands of people at his weekly general audience in St. Peter's Square, the pontiff expressed his closeness to the Cameroon to the people of Cameroon and ask the faithful to pray for national dialogue and lasting solutions for peace. In Libya, scores of rescued migrants off Libyan coast flee. At least 71 illegal migrants rescued after four days in distress at sea were brought to shore east to the Libyan capital Tripoli early on Sunday but then fled out uh, and no attempt was made to capture them. A Navy official said Libya is one of the main departure points for African migrants fleeing poverty and war to reach Italy by boat but many are intercepted at sea and brought brought back by the Libyan Coast Guard with the, the approval of the European Union. In this incident, the UN Refugee Agency reported late on Saturday that an inflatable boat carrying scores of migrants had capsized off the Libyan coast and that the Libyan Coast Guard dispatched a patrol boat to search for them. None of the migrants drowned or were hurt in the incident, though two were in a poor condition after four days at sea without food and water and they received medical treatment. The incident took place in the town of Alcombs, some 120 kilometers east of Tripoli. Senegal presidential grace for Khalifa Sal sentenced on August 2018 the five year of imprisonment for forgery of commercial writing and pseudo on public money. The former mayor of Dakar is now free. Khalifa Sal 63, elected mayor of Dakar in 2009 and re-elected in 2004, descendant of the Socialist Party and majority was subsequently removed from office as mayor by the Senegalese head of state and replaced by one of the relatives, Mrs. Uh, Swam Wadini. Elected on the legislative elections in 2017, he could not sit. He had also seen his candidacy for the presidential election in 2019 rejected by the court because of his conviction. According to the content of the decree signed by the Senegalese president, this total remission of sentences also concerns two accused of Khalifa Sal, Mbaye Touré and Yaya Bodian. This is all for the Flash Info this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned on Refet Afrique Television as our programs are ongoing.